Let's try to understand limit of absolute function. Consider the function f of x equals to x squared minus 1 divided by absolute of x minus 1. Now this is the given function and we need to find limit of this function f of x when x approaches 1 from positive side 1 plus and when x approaches 1 from negative side and from these two results we need to figure out whether the limit exists at x equals to when x approaches 1 or not and the last part is to sketch the graph of this function okay now before we start we should know what absolute x minus 1 is let's define this function okay now absolute x minus 1 is equal to positive value when x is greater than or equal to 1 right x minus 1 if x is greater than or equal to 1 correct and is equal to negative value when of x minus 1 if x is less than 1 right? that is how this function is defined now one more thing you should remember and that is when it is in the denominator x cannot be equal to 1 right so here that is a definition but remember here that x is not equal to 1 correct so so we sh we actually strictly speaking should be writing x greater than 1 okay anyway well we are just taking definition here and we are putting that restriction on the function f of x now when they say that the find limit of this function when x approaches 1 from positive side so positive side means x is greater than 1 right so that is we have to use x minus 1 in this function correct so <laughs> at this point this function is actually equals to x square minus 1 divided by x minus 1 okay since absolute value of x minus 1 is equal to x minus 1 if x is greater than 1 okay it's because only if x is greater than 1 we will approach from the positive side correct now this can be simplified and we get this is x plus 1 this is difference of squares times x minus 1 over x minus 1 and so this cancels out and uh, <coughs> therefore we are left with x plus 1 remember that whenever you write like this I missed writing but you should not ever miss limit x approaches 1 plus we have to write this okay because that is the question limit of this function when x approaches 1 from positive side we have here limit of the function when x approaches 1 from positive side okay now when we have simplified it we can now plug in the value 1 for x and we get 1 plus 1 equals to 2 so the limit of this function is 2 when it approaches 1 from positive side we could not have substituted 1 here because if we do that we get 1 minus 1 is 0 and 1 minus 1 is 0 so we get 0 over 0 which is not defined so if it is 0 over 0 the strategy is to factor and get rid of the common factor in numerator and denominator right and then substitute right so that's why we move forward with that now here so this is just a reminder to you for that now here when x is approaching 1 from negative side that means x is less than 1 so now we will use this value not this value right now it's negative of x minus 1 correct so now the function here is equals to limit x approaches 1 from negative side we write this as x square minus 1 is equals to minus of x minus 1 is it okay now again we'll factor it as we did last time say limit x approaches 1 from negative side and we get here x plus 1 times x minus 1 over negative of x minus 1 correct now again we do have a common factor because of which uh, we got 0 by 0 right so now we get limit x approaches 1 from negative side and we are left with uh, negative of x plus 1 correct which will result in if I plug in 1 here 
then this results in minus 2. <clears throat> so we see that the limit of this function when we approach from the positive side is plus 2 and when we approach from the negative side is negative 2. So the next part of the question is, let me name them as A, B, C, right? A and B and C and D, right? So the C part says, does the limit of this function at x approaches 1 exists or not? So since the limit, so since the limits are different from positive side and negative side, they're plus 2 and minus 2, the limit does not exist at 1, right? So we write here since limit x approaching 1 from positive side for f of x is not equal to limit for x approaching 1 from negative side of f of x, right? Limit x approaching 1 of f of x does not exist. So that is kind of that's the reason for this, okay? Now, sketch the graph of f of x. Now, to sketch the graph of f of x, we have a simplified version here, which we are going to use, right? So, let's say this is our uh, coordinate axis, and uh, if x is greater than 1, so let us say this is our 1, right? Let's say this is 1, okay? And uh, for y value, let's say this is 1 and this is 2, okay? Now, if here, if x is greater than 1, then this will be x plus 1, the equation, right? And at 1, we should be approaching the value of 2. So, but we are not quite there. So, we have a hole here at 2, right? And the graph says x plus 1, right? So, it is a line which has a slope of 1, right? From here, so it goes like this. Do you see that? Yes. And for when we approach 1 from negative side we come to minus 2 so so let's say this is my 1 and this is my minus 2 right so here we go to minus 2 so we have a hole here at minus 2 for 1 and the equation here is minus of x do you see this minus of x correct minus of x minus 1 correct and therefore the slope of this will be if I put x as 0, then it would be minus 1, right? So that's my function, right? So it says, so it would be kind of going like this. This will be at 1. Do you get it? So this is minus 1, okay? The equation here of the function is, let me write the equation in red here, it is x plus 1. And on this side, it is minus x minus 1, okay? So, that is how the function will be graphed. Okay, that's the zero. I hope you understand how we did this problem. So, in every absolute function, first you have to define the function, right? And then, it's a piecewise function. So, there are two separate pieces. So, according to the section you are interested in, you have to use that particular piece there, right? And uh, because of that, you get positive and negative values at that point, which is the vertex of the function, right? And normally, if that is the case, the limit will not exist and there is a discontinuity at that point, okay? I hope you understand this. If you have any questions, you can put the comments and then we'll look into it, okay? Thank you.